Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. I get a lot of calls every day about what kind of treatment do I need, how much do I need, where do I place it? So we came up with this acronym called TAP for Type, Amount, and Position. And I think as we go through this video, you'll get a pretty good idea of your room size and volume and where the treatment is supposed to go, how much, and, and all of that that you need. So. Let's first start with our red, yellow, and green guideline chart. This is a chart I put together based on our database. And in the database, I started to see certain patterns. So I used those patterns for maximizing treatment of all the biggest issues in these room sizes and volumes. So you can see the red area is a very small room with large low frequency issues. So large low frequency issues, we know that you always have to have lots of treatment, okay? So what we're trying to do in this red, yellow, and green type zoning is to maximize the treatment in the space requirement that we have in the room. And sometimes you're just gonna have to find another room because we have the most powerful low frequency technology ever created. And if we can't help you, nobody can. So we want to use this red, yellow, green chart as a guideline because we want to use the space to maximize performance. Like I said, the red is very, very small, great for vocals, but not too uh, good for anything else. So if you can, find another room if your room falls in the red zone. The yellow zone gives us a little bit more square footage so we can treat the low frequency issues that the yellow zone gives us. And the green is ideal beautiful thing about the green zone is we have enough size and volume almost for any usage and we have more importantly enough space to treat everything so the bottom line here is all about usage size and volume now the tap part the type we have to determine based on your usage room size and volume what kind of treatments we're going to have we all know from past videos that our treatments are going to be absorption and diffusion those are the only two kinds you're going to read about a lot of hybrids and variations on those two themes. But remember, there's just two types, absorption and diffusion. So the bottom line here is we want to find the type of treatment we need for your particular usage and your particular room size. So we know in the red area, it's all about low frequency absorption because that's our hugest issue. In the yellow zone, we have some room for diffusion. We have to be careful where we put it in the yellow zone because we have to be conscious of distance because we have to have enough distance for the diffused waveform to fully form. The green is ideal. We have plenty of space to do almost anything that we want. And we can use diffusion on multiple surfaces in that case. None of this uh, information pertains to the floor or ceiling. Those are options that we can use down the road if your budget permits because we can treat all six surfaces. And we know that the floor to ceiling area is the area that's the smallest. So it'll be the area of highest pressure. So let's keep the red, yellow, and green chart in mind as a guideline. And then let's use the TAP acronym, type, amount, and position to help us define what treatments we need, how much of that treatment we need, and where to put it. Thank you.